Debunking the Debunker This video is a response to Patrick Johnson's video, Debunking Biotensegrity. Dr. Patrick Johnson, PhD Physics, tried to prove that biotensegrity is fake. Biotensegrity is a model for studying the structure, mechanics, and motion of living organisms. So where is the fake? Those who did their science are tired of dealing with stuff like this. But in these times when false information is flooding the world, when fakers call themselves debunkers, there has to be a response. As a practitioner without academic degrees, I'll try to explain the faults in Johnson's drawings and in his experimental setup using basic housekeeping skills and elementary school physics. Questions 1. What does a proper model look like? 2. Which model can show the principles of tensegrity in the best way? 3. Which struts are able to carry the biggest load? 4. Which structure is the one you would rely on when life gets tough? 1. What does a proper model look like? Not like the one in that video, because... This one is like a drawing from M.C. Escher. It can't be built. You don't believe me? Just give it a try. The connections between the struts are drawn wrong. It should be like this. The top of each strut must have a connection to the bottom of the next one. This is a nice model from wikipedia.org where you can find it animated. Very helpful. 2. Which model can show the principles of tensegrity in a proper way? This three-strut model can't, as you have seen. Even if it was drawn and built correctly, it would not be the best one to show how tensegrity works. An icosahedron model explains the stability issue much better. That was not Patrick Johnson's intention, but it is mine. 3. Which struts are able to carry the biggest load? This is a purely academic question because it all depends on how the struts are organized. The better question is... 4. Which structure is the one you'd like to rely on when life becomes tough? This is the right question if you want to learn about tensegrity before you try to refute biotensegrity. So let's have some fun now. Welcome to the kitchen lab. Experimental setup. A standard household kitchen scale. A metal bowl. And an icosahedron. One kilogram of flour and maybe two more. Let's go. 30 gram icosahedron. One kilogram flour. Earthquake proof. Another setup, you will see more of the icosahedron. The limit of the scale is at about 2.4 kilogram. Watch the icosahedron. The 30 gram tensegrity model collapses under a load of more than 3,000 grams of flour.
The next try is with the same number of struts without any stabilizing structure, as shown in Patrick Johnson's video. Just a little bit of dough helped with the setup. Uh-oh. Let's make it easier. One could argue that the ground is not horizontal and the struts are not perfectly vertical. There are very few right angles in nature and thus very few perfect settings for fragile arrangements. There is only one thing that is always vertical, and that is the direction of gravity. A good model for living structures should be able to demonstrate the interaction with gravity, not the fight against it. Easier. Just a sheet of plastic. Which is the structure you'd like to rely on when life becomes tough? The math of tensegrities are horror, but they know their job. In a nutshell, Johnson proved that he cannot draw the simplest tensegrity model, that he doesn't understand the mechanics, physics, and math of tensegrity, that his experimental setup is nonsense because it doesn't work in the real world. This in itself puts him in a position for which he cannot refute biotensegrity. Copyright Marin Deal, 2020. Support Graham Scar, Leonid Bloom, and speaker Rebecca Lynn. Reliable source for all information about biotensegrity, biotensegrityarchive.org. Here you find many links to further information, a guide how to start exploring biotensegrity, and announcements of events.